In this video, we visit the remote sanctuary Kichikani Serengeti Bush Camp, which is located in Tanzania. For years, we'd watched documentaries on the great migration of animals in Africa and wanted to witness it firsthand, and it was worth it. First, I'll give you a quick tour of the five-star sanctuary camp that we stayed at, and then show you two of the three crossings that we witnessed with thousands of wildebeest scrambling across the river while being preyed upon by deadly crocodiles. We saw many other animals, but also you cannot help but love the lion cubs that we spotted until the mother decided to come over and check us out, getting way too close for my comfort zone. Well, we just landed here at Lanai Airport in Tanzania, and we're going to be heading to one of our bush camps here where we'll be for the next few days. Uh, nice dirt runway out here that we came in on, smooth ride over from Kilimanjaro Airport, and there's a lot of flies here too. So. Let's see how this video goes. <laughs> Hello. 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 <laughs> You'll be movie stars on video. Hey. <laughs> on YouTube. You're watching movies. Oh, are you? <laughs> It is amazing on the short drive from the landing strip airport to our camp, you unexpectedly encountered the stunning and beautiful animals in their natural habitat here in Africa. We never tire of seeing these massive male lions who are just feet away from our vehicle and they definitely get the adrenaline flowing. So here at the Sanctuary Camp, this is our home away from home. Walk up, let's take a look at it. Literally located out here in the middle of nowhere. A couple chairs outside. This is for shaving if you want. There's some water in there. Got a nice mirror, fire extinguisher. Moving into the uh, tent here. Got a huge king size bed, super right. comfortable. I tested it. Give you a it. flashlight, which does come in handy. A fan, some umbrellas over here, place for your luggage. Very efficient, actually. Another nightstand over there. It's all bottled water. Moving back here to the uh, sink area. We have a tent here. This is for the shower. Toilet. Place for storage over there. Kind of interesting. Uh, your room steward comes he has a bucket on the outside give him about 10 minutes notice he fills it up with uh warm water that's for your shower so I'm absolutely we'll gorgeous which we'll look at in a minute but this is how we're forced to spend our evenings with a cocktail out here some young lady over here so we're coming inside we're going to take a look at the lounge area in here and we're going to have dinner now And there's our great bartenders back here. Yeah, uh, love it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we started out on our game drive, looking at the various animals that were in the area. And then the radio came alive with chatter that a crossing had started. So our driver wasted no time getting over to the river. The great wildebeest migration is the largest animal migration in the world. Every year, more than two million animals such as wildebeest, zebra, and gazelle migrate in a clockwise direction across the ecosystems of the Serengeti in Tanzania and the Maasai Mara in Kenya, Africa. Truly something amazing to see. As we had gotten closer up to the shore, I had asked the driver if it'd be okay if I got out of the vehicle and mm -hmm. stood up there on the cliff to overlook the animals coming up. He kind of laughed at me and looked at me as though I was crazy. And as I sat in the Jeep, which he obviously told me, you're not gonna get out, uh, I realized how many thousands and thousands of animals were coming our way. Soon, they were all around our vehicle, literally in the front and in the back, in sheer terror the minute they saw us. I had no idea that not only were they fearing the crocodiles that were down in the water, but they also feared the people that were up here watching them. 
It was truly amazing. I've never been that close to that many animals coming up and running literally as fast as they could to get away from us and whatever other dangers there were out there. The crossing was non-stop, at least it seemed like that for us, for at least 15 minutes or so. And then things quieted down. No, he's, they're afraid of us. <laughs> Our driver decided that we should check out the other side of the river and see what kind of animals were over there. So we went on one of the finest bridges I've ever seen in Africa, not. As I looked at both sides thinking, if we go in on either side, I have no idea how we're going to get out of this water. And then we noticed a lot of predator birds that were up in front of us. Couldn't figure out what they were doing. And then we realized they had been snacking on some of the dead animals. So that was a few dead wildebeest that had probably drowned while they were doing their crossing. And uh, they are making a meal right now. Oh, unbelievable. They took him apart in the last hour. All right, guys, go back to it. There you go. Go on. There's a two fishy boys in the tree. Oh, yeah, in the tree there. Yeah. Oh, neat. Okay, we just saw one crossing. Now we're heading over to crossing zero. We're just at crossing number one. And it looks like we have another large group of wildebeest zebras that are gathering and are getting ready to make the crossing. So let's see what happens when we get over there. And here we go with another crossing. And why are, look how some are stopped. Any crocodiles out there? And the information that came over the radio was very accurate. We had another crossing. We had now seen our second crossing. And when some people are lucky even to see one, we later ended up seeing a third, which is really, really amazing. <laughs> uh, why did not there? I wouldn't go swimming there either. Not with you guys in there. Oh God, here comes number three. I didn't see him. It's kind of camouflaged, isn't he? <sighs> Jeez, he sure is. Yeah, wow, I never even saw him. Yeah. He is a big boy. Oh, jeez. As we watch this particular crossing, it is very noticeable how skittish the animals had gotten. I believe it was due to watching the three crocodiles that had entered the water, so they knew they were waiting there to prey on them. Someone was going to be unlucky, and sure enough, we did see one that got taken down. That stopped the crossing and put the animals on both sides of the river. Later on, they would end up crossing again to join back up with the group. So we're going to go out on an evening drive. We call it a sundowner. And we're going to see if any of the predators are out and what else is out as things are starting to cool down now. And sure enough, the animals were out on the hunt. First thing we came across was a couple of the cheetahs. And they were out looking for a meal. And then we came across the little lion cubs. We had driven by where the mothers were previously. One of the mothers was out hunting and uh, the other was protecting the cubs. And she didn't like us being in the area at all. But tonight, the two mothers were present and they weren't really alarmed by our presence, at least at first. And then one of the cubs got curious and decided to come a little closer and see what we were doing. Luckily, he sat down before he got too close, otherwise, one of the big cats might have decided to come our way a little closer, which they did later on. So we sit enjoying watching the cubs play, which is something you don't get to see very often.
A short time later, one of the females decided she'd go and come over to a little stream that was near us and get a drink. And then she decided she was going to come a little closer to us to see what exactly we were doing there. We were just minding our own business. So I was hoping she would mind her own business. But she just sat down and stared at us for a while, which did make me a little bit uneasy. Okay. Finally, after getting a little bit closer, she decided we weren't a threat, turned around and walked away. Now without me doing a little sweating. The video does not do the crossings justice. As these animals migrate from Tanzania to Kenya in the giant circle, they're following the water and the weather. All the time, trying to dodge the predators that are looking to eat them. Boy, I'll tell you, that is a tough way to go. Thanks for watching Pat's Adventures, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please take a minute to leave a comment, as I appreciate the feedback. And also, please hit that subscribe button for future notifications of my videos. Thanks again and please take care.